also YouTube is breaking inside and I'm back before we get to it. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, make sure you always watch the full video. Let's get right into it. Nick supporters are not letting up on King and Lena. King just posted a fashion over paid promo post on IG. Someone said, going on a trip but couldn't buy your son an outfit no this party, <laughs> shaking my head. Is this a joke? You can't even buy your kid a two-piece set. You out the country spending money, but when you was in the country, you couldn't spend no money on that firstborn. You over here taking pictures, go get your son a haircut. Posting pictures but ain't buy your son an outfit is crazy to me. Boy, they is not finna let up no time soon, bruh. <laughs> That's why again, certain situations should not make the internet. If y'all wasn't, if well, your baby mamas wasn't going back and forth on, on the internet, nobody would have knew this. Therefore, everything would have been all good. That's all bad, bro. Me trying to post like he the man standing on zero bucks. Go take that outfit back. Kaiser needs school clothes. No way I'll be trying to show off an outfit right now, bro. Anyway, King X Boo Ashley also spoke out. Ashley is the girl that claimed that King was messing with her and Lena at the same time in the beginning of King's relationship with Lena. And ever mm. since then, they've been going back and forth. Ashley tweet, call me whatever, but I love seeing y'all get on the two stooges that tried to tear me down. How? Ha, karma is a real thing and I always say this. Someone said, baby, it's been years. Move on. It's going to always True. be up for me. I hold grudges for life and what about it? Y'all leave y'all comments down below. Let me know what y'all thinking when it comes to that. Kaisen would that not be funny. prosecuted on charges of inciting a riot in Manhattan after agreeing to post a public apology and pay $57,000 in restitution. Now, the $57,000 will go to Union Square Partnership to cover the landscaping and other courses. And not only will Kaisen case be dropped, but Duke Dennis and agent cases dismissed as well. Kaisen issued an apology last night. He said when i promoted a giveaway ps5 in union square park it created an unintentional dangerous situation due to the way i promoted and advertised it the result was unsafe situation for people who live and work in the neighborhood first responders my followers that attended the event i apologize for the disruption and damage to the community the park the vehicles and the storefronts in the area i recognize this right. gathering impact business owners and their employees by interfering with their ability to do business that afternoon thereby compromising their livelihoods i apologize to the first responders who had to endure the backlash of this irresponsible promotion one this is just a, a, a major major lesson learned i think in, in this moment they realize at least you know the amp squad they realize how major they really are i think that's what they really learned that that in, in my opinion that's what the lesson w that needs to be learned i don't think like and let's go for for a lot of content creators they don't be knowing how big they are like they are the new actors you are the new super celebrities you are that because most of us do not watch tv most of us do not watch movies we're not watching nothing <laughs> and like every day hey at least for me i'm watching i'm watching more youtube or old tv series or something if i do watch tv but most people and hey, this is a power um bmf uh probably the uh you know the new the new backers club or whatever and then they come back to youtube majority of the time is spent on youtube and who's mainly watching youtube it, you know it, it's some it's some it's some teenagers it's some adults it's some it's some grown folks but it's a majority of kids they're the ones spending 24 hours a day looking at youtube and watching a twist ring me personally i can i can do the youtube part but the twist ring i can't do that y'all sitting there for hours and hours and hours i can't i can't sit there that long bro but i think they really learn how major they are that's why now, that, if you start to look at it, a lot of them are starting to move with, you know, security teams now. First, it was it was just them. Like last time that like, Kai and Kai and um, I think Speed went out. They went to Waffle House late night. Dude showed up. No, they <laughs> they there with no security. Like bro, like that's not what you're supposed to be doing, bro. Like. Not, not at all. It worked to restore calm. Finally, I apologize to my followers who came to the promotion and did not act out. I am from New York and would never want to see the city turned upside down due to unwanted, irresponsible, and dangerous behavior. I wanted to do something cool and fun for the people and did not think it was going to turn into something that caused harm to the city. And I should have thought more about the post before I announced it. The actions of some of the people that attended were unacceptable. At no time is it okay to act out physically in situations like this or to destroy property to try to harm people. It was never my intent for it to get so out of hand. 
opinion. And I have learned a very valuable lesson that social media is a very powerful tool to do good. But it can also cause dangerous unwanted situation if it's not used properly. I know the right. mayor district attorney Alvin Brad and the New York Police Department are looking out for the safety of the citizens of New York. And I want to thank them for their dedicated hard work. I also want to thank you all and for them allowing me to continue my career and giving me a chance to show how much good I can accomplish with the following I have amassed. Going forward, I understand that with my platform and followers, I have a huge responsibility and must always think about the impact and consequences of my posts. People started right. speculating that right. Carmen and Corey were back together after they were calling each other baby in Corey's recent video. I'm not addressing anything. I'm not confirming anything. I'm not doing what y'all want me to do. I'm gonna do what I want to do and need to do. So y'all can assume and do y'all math, whatever that equals to, then that's what it is. Y'all leave y'all comments down below. Anyway, Chris Sales and his- Carmen, y'all are back together, bro. It's okay. It's okay. Like, <laughs> if, this was, if this was gonna make you happy, do your thing. Like you said, you're gonna do what you wanna do anyway. We, we are the people on the internet. You do not live your life. We not, we're not the one who gotta wake up every day, wake up next to this person or none of that. That's you. You have to do all that. As long as you're able to wake up every day and be happy with yourself and be wake up next to Corey and be happy with that situation, it is what it is. But we know y'all back together, bro. The recent video speaks <laughs> on if he's the father of Leslie's twin boys. The twins are not my twins. Yeah, so y'all can stop asking me that. Everybody keep asking me, is Leslie kids mine? I don't like Chris, bro. I mean, yeah, I don't, I don't like this dude, bro. And then them them i like I, like i like that that she's pretty nice nice <laughs> i'm going to i'm going to, 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 to the man mode but them y'all two together that looks super weird and desperate i, I seen a lot of people like oh yeah y'all look good together y'all look that is weird that is weird these are two other people who are currently together baby mamas and baby daddy and what y'all already seen how it's like like the thing that made it weird was Chris. He, in my opinion, he made it weird because, like, one, it's like you cannot let go of, of of Queen. You cannot let go of her. You making songs. You making posts. It's like it's a whole new relationship, a whole new kid, and you're still making posts and make yourself, even though you're permanently tied to it, but you know, still relevant with her and and her new man. That was weird. And then you go hook up or link up, hang out kiss whatever with his ex-girlfriend bro come on bro it's it's so many people in this on, on this earth and that's who you go talk to he made he made the situation look worse if this would have been she hooked up with somebody else that was you know had had no cloud or whatever cool but you hooking up with your baby mamas baby's daddies ex-girlfriend that's weird that's weird that's that's weird bro. it's like you you try to make sure you stay relevant to, to to your baby mama and to her new man that's weird bro those, those are not my kids that's not my kids they're precious though they really are precious um they're adorable i see them on uh uh, Leslie Instagram and they're so adorable. Like I'm not gonna lie, even when when I first found out when she first told me, I was like excited for it. Like I was so happy for it and a little jealous because I want twins. You feel me? Like I want I want twin girls though. Like I don't. If I have another boy, I'm not. I'm gonna just off myself right there in the hospital. What? Yeah, I'm glad it ended that right there. Like what? You see, now y'all see, it's something. It's something wrong with that dude. It is literally something wrong with that man. 